What's up everyone, it's Tom once again for a weekly watch list. What this is, is the exact levels I'm watching for the upcoming week and how I'm going to trade them. So let's just get right into this. Starting off with ticker SPY, this is my go-to. So let's just get right with this. First off, ticker SPY, our go-to. Yes, if you trade futures, you're in the right place. You can trade ES based off SPY levels or SPX levels that I give you all. You can trade NQ based off QQQ. So let's go. So we came up, uh, made a new all-time high here, come back up, tested it on Friday. And we actually made a new all-time high on SPX. What I'm looking for here, it kind of looks as though we're forming a double top, right? So that is the case. Again, I'm still just trading my levels, my zones. That's all I ever do. Me saying that's not trying to predict what's going to happen, but I will be ready with my zones in case we do get that nice downtrend or that nice put entry, nice uh, ES short entry. Anyways, this is the first zone we have to lose. We lose this. Um, once I see confirmation, I'll be looking to play puts or shorts down to this 540. But yes, this could be a solid bounce area. We could watch this for a bounce. 540, we can see is more of an area. I couldn't give you exact level here. As you can see here, we kind of wick down. So we need to wait on confirmation there. Probably the safest entry would be breaking back out of this zone with a nice bullish candle for calls. Now, that setup looks solid. The setup we talked about before looks solid. The main setup I'm watching this week is I want to see us lose this, come back up, retest this area. If this happens, you know, we could continue up. If this happens, I'm looking for a put entry on the retest here or short because we've got quite a bit of room here. So. This trade here is going to allow for a big mover if it plays out the way I, you know, the way I want it to. If not, I'm perfectly okay catching this bounce here, locking in profits for the day. And, you know, moving on to the next, see what the market holds pre-market the day after. Next up, SPX, okay? So I prefer trading SPX options over SPY options. That's just what I've been doing lately. It's been working great, and I trade ES futures. But last week, as you can see, this, uh, 5450 area was clearly the dominant level as Jaden loves when I say that. But as you can see, this 5450 is clearly it's a dominant support right now. So what I'm looking for when we lose this, come back up retest. That's gonna be a short entry. Okay. Break down, come back up retest, puts or ES shorts, play move back down. That's what I'm looking for. 5400 is the bounce area I'm watching this week on SPX. It looks solid, that whole SOC number. We've respected it in the past. We've seen good movement in the area as well. So we'll see what happens once we get there. Very simple, but very effective. You know, I said this before. People underestimate, you know, how hard it is to do something simple consistently every single day. It's very hard. I know my strategy seems simple, but this has come from years of trial and error, kind of going through all the nonsense on the internet, finding, you know, going through all the overcomplicated strategies. We're nine times out of ten, they're just trying to sell you something from my experience. Supply and demand, support and resistance, volume, price action, that's where it's at. So let's move on. Up next, QQQ. So these are clear levels to me. We lose this 478.3 area. We have room back down to this 473.84. Will we see that one day? I don't know, but looks solid. I don't see much stopping it in between there. So we can get into a trade and catch a move like this with options or NQ. You know, it's going to be a big day trade payday for us. And below that, same thing as we've seen on SPY. We have quite a bit of room down. Again, repeat myself. If you don't know how to trade my levels, I have a video on my YouTube I made recently. Go check it out. It takes you like, I don't remember how long it was, five to seven minutes probably. So go watch that. Get back to me. Tesla, interesting week for Tesla. Strong. They finally broke above that 200 for a minute. So now what I'm looking for, yes, it could very well reject and go on down from here, but we have this resistance around this 205. Once we get above that, I'm going to be interested in some calls or some longs. Going to be watching this for a day trade. And that's the only setup I see here on Tesla. Keep in mind, I prefer sticking to SPX, SPY, QQQ. But when I see a setup, we take it. We, uh, we made some good money off of Amazon and nvidia last week inside team pool so i have one more uh, setup for a day trade i'm watching it's, it's ticker amz in amazon i'm looking for a bounce down around this 
189.5 to 189 area for a call entry. Looks good. Um, I like how we broke out of this with strength. We, you know, we come up rejected here. Finally broke out of this. I want to see this come back down, retest this. I'm looking to uh, catch a bounce there. And that's all I have for the upcoming week. Very simple levels, but with the sniper entry, waiting on confirmation. Um, even if you don't always have a sniper entry, if you if you want to be patient and wait on the extra confirmation, that's the way to go. If you have any questions about these levels, reach out to me. Be sure to chart these out. Even if you're not trading this week, chart out my levels. See how price action reacts around them. Study them. You know, maybe even this, you know, at the end of the week, come back to this video, you know, say, okay, this would have been confirmation on this trade, this trade, and just learn from it. Take advantage of all the free education out there. When we stop learning, you know, we're just hurting ourselves. Never stop learning. Appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.